Welcome to Evolution of Self with me, Britannia. Hello. So a couple of weeks ago, or a week ago, I don't even remember how long ago it was, I posted something on Facebook about trust. And the reason for this is I suddenly got a much deeper awareness and understanding of trust. And I've done an episode on trust before, and I'll put a link to that in the show notes below. But it's like when you suddenly have another aha or realisation or deepen your understanding and wisdom of something, suddenly everything shifts. And I think in that video I even mentioned that trust is a choice. It's something you choose to do. And although I might have said that, I don't think I really understood or grasped the depth of that choice. And it comes again down to authentic personal power, which I mentioned, I think, in the last episode. Um, anyway, I'll put a link to that as well in the show notes below. And the key to authentic personal power is knowing who you truly are, knowing the, the truth of who you are, knowing your soul, knowing the essence of who you are. Because when you know that, you'll realise that it's indestructible. It doesn't matter if somebody lets you down or breaks your trust or hurts you or upsets you or doesn't behave in the way that you want to behave. That part of you will never ever be hurt or damaged. The only part of us that is ever hurt or damaged is our personality, our identity, our ego. And when we're living in that space, in that attachment to that, then people can hurt us. So when we choose to trust people, we're not giving power away to them to let us down or to hurt us in any way. What we're choosing to do is to give them space to be the best that they can be. We're offering them a gift. Whether they choose to accept that gift or not accept that gift is entirely up to them. And if they don't choose to accept that gift and they choose to do something that you would think was untrustworthy, then you are no worse off than you were to start with. And I love that in the Facebook page where, and the LinkedIn page, although I don't get quite so much interaction on the LinkedIn side, but on the Facebook side, I had loads of interaction. And I love that most of my connections all talk about choice and they talk about gut feeling, how they trust people when they sort of, they have a gut feeling that they are trustworthy. And I just love that most of the people I'm connected to come from that kind of space. It's, it really makes my heart feel so full. I feel really, truly blessed to have so many amazing people in my life in that area. But I hope what I've said about trust, it's quite succinct. <laughs> I hope it rings true. And if it sits uncomfortably and you have resistance to it, what I'd maybe recommend is that give it a week or two and then re-listen to it. Because sometimes when we start shifting and changing how we believe, we get um, our ego identity, which I'm talking about, doesn't like what I'm saying because it feels vulnerable. It feels like what I'm saying could be dangerous to it and therefore it can react by making you feel um, resistant to what the truth actually is. The other thing that I'll say is that I have developed a process for you to be able to connect to the truth of who you are and if you want to do this then again I'll put a link to it in the show notes below because when you can see the truth of who you are, when you can separate that from your identity ego and see and become aware of the difference between the two, then you'll truly be able to understand what I'm talking about and where I'm coming from. And maybe then, when it comes to trusting people, you'll choose to trust people because it makes your heart feel glad and full. And you know that you're coming from a place where you have absolutely nothing to lose because nobody ever can do something that can truly hurt you or, hurt or destroy you. So much love from me to you. Bye-bye.